This is problem 4.3, which reads, When a 430-gram soccer ball is kicked out of the air, the player's foot applies a force of 350 newtons at an angle of 36 degrees above the horizontal as shown below. A. What is the ball's horizontal acceleration? B. What is the ball's vertical acceleration? As a hint, draw a full body diagram and do not forget to include the ball's weight. We're going to start by drawing a full body diagram of the ball. The ball has a weight, it has a force in the y direction, and it has a force in the x direction. We get these forces from the x and y direction from solving all of the vectors. We have the 350 newton force at an angle of 36 degrees and a force component in the x direction and a force component in the y direction. We also want to solve for the man's weight. His mass is 430 grams, which equals 0.43 kilograms. So his weight is going to equal 0.43 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared as the acceleration of gravity. So his new weight, we're going to use 4.2 newtons. We're going to solve for his force in the x direction. We're going to solve for his horizontal component of the 350 newton force. We're going to do this by multiplying the cosine 36 degrees by the 350 newton force. This is going to equal 283.2 newtons. The force in the y direction is going to be found by multiplying the sine of 36 degrees by 350 newtons, which comes to 205.7 newtons. Just to refresh our memory, I'm going to write the force in the x direction up top, which we know is 283.2 newtons, and the force in the y direction is 205.7 newtons and his weight is 4.2 newton. So for part A, we have F equals MA in only the x direction for this part because we're looking for the horizontal acceleration only. FX we know is 283.2 newtons is equal to his mass in kilograms, which is 0 0.43 kilograms times his acceleration in the x direction, which is what we're solving for. So the acceleration in the x direction is going to come to 658.6 meters per second squared. Now for part B, we use F equals MA in the Y component only, so FY equals MA of Y. We know that FY is all of the forces in the Y direction, so we have both 205.7 newtons plus his weight, which is 4 0.2 newtons in order to get everything in the y direction. That is equal to 0 0.43 kilograms times the acceleration in the y direction. These two added together come to be 209.9 .9 newtons equal 0 0.43 kilograms times acceleration of the y direction. Solving for AY, we now get 488.1 meters per second squared. That's problem 4.3, finding the horizontal and vertical accelerations through vectors.